Have you ever been afraid? Like, really afraid? Who did you talk to? What did they say? Did you listen to what they said? I'm reminded of certain circumstances that David had to go through before he was actually king. Uh, in 1 Samuel chapters 19 and 20, David is on the run away from King Saul, who actually had intentions to kill him. Jonathan, who was Saul's son, uh, was informing David because he was his best friend, was informing David of King Saul's bad intentions. And so basically, King David was at the mercy of Jonathan and, of course, the Lord. That's kind of a scary thing, to be entirely out of control in a situation. You don't have a say in things, you don't have a direct effect on the outcome, whatever that looks like. I personally really struggle with that. When I don't have control over something, when I don't have a say in something, it's actually frustrating and frightening that I don't really have an effect in the outcome. But David, David has to submit to the Lord's will and he has to trust Jonathan's wise counsel and judgment. As we read these scriptures, 1 Samuel 19 and 20, I want to challenge you amidst all your anxieties and whatever it is that you're worrying about, are you really surrendering those to Christ? Now with all this time and being home most of our days, I want to challenge you guys to spend that time in prayer. Surrender whatever it is that you're going through. Surrender whatever it is that you're struggling with or thinking about. This is your time to have a conversation with God. This is your time to have a conversation and see what's on God's heart. See who he places on your heart. See what things he places on your heart. Of course, also surrender those things that you're struggling with. After all, this is a conversation. This is a relationship that you have with God. He's a very intentional person who loves you sincerely and he wants the best for you. And so that kind of communication between the two means a lot. So I really want to challenge you guys. Spend this time in prayer. Ask God, what's on your heart? You'd be surprised what he puts on yours.